Good everyone, you're watching Rate You Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if the co-pilot is not working in your Windows 11 machine. Now, the first step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to make sure you have co-pilot enabled in your Windows machine. In case if you're not sure how to enable co-pilot in your Windows machine, I have created a step-by-step -step video on how to enable co-pilot. You can go ahead and check the link at the top right corner of the screen. Now, to fix the co-pilot not working, the first step, what I would suggest you to do was I would suggest you to go ahead and check your internet connection so you can use the free internet speed tester to see if your connect connection is slow so in case if you have a slow internet connection you may go ahead and try to restart your router or you may contact your internet service provider to fix your internet connection now if your internet connection is working fine uh, and you have a good speed the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to go ahead and update your windows now to update your windows you may go ahead and do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings on the left hand side you may go ahead and click on windows update once you're on the windows update on the right hand side you would see an option which says check for the updates in my case there are few updates to be installed so i can go ahead and click on download and install now or uh, in your case you might see a button which says check for the update once you click on check for the updates your windows will go ahead and check for the updates and see if there are any updates to be installed if there are any updates to be installed you may go ahead and download and install those updates and once the updates are installed, restart your computer and check if your copilot is working. In case if it is not working, the next step what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to run the copilot command. Now to activate copilot in Windows, you can run a specific command which is used for this purpose. So to run the copilot command, what you can do is you can do a right click on the start button and then click on run and you can copy the command from my video description and paste it in the run window. So you may click on OK and that should open the copilot preview in your windows. So this is where you can go ahead and check if the uh, copilot is working. In case if it is working well and good, you don't have to try the next step. Now, as a next step, what I would suggest you to do is I would suggest you to enable copilot using registry editor. So to do this, what you can do is you can go ahead and uh, open the registry editor. So you may do a right click on the start button and click on run. In the run window, type reg edit. This is the command you need to type to open the registry editor. Click on OK. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you are on the registry editor, you will have to go to the path to uh, enable the uh, copilot. So I will paste the registry entry in the uh, video description. You can copy and paste it from there. Once you copy the registry path, clear what you have here and paste the path here and hit enter once now once you're on this path you will have to go ahead and create a registry you will have to do a right click on windows and then click on new and click on key and uh, create a key which says windows copilot once you have created a windows copilot you have to then do a right click on windows copilot so you'll have to do a right click and then click on windows copilot click on new and choose the option which says D word 32 bit value and create a key which says turn off Windows Copilot and double click on it. Make sure the value data has been set to zero and click on OK. Once it is done, close the registry editor, restart your computer, and then try to check if the Copilot is working in your Windows machine. So, this should uh, definitely fix the problem in case if you're facing a problem. Please leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with a possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.